So you'd like to multicam. Let's get started. Let's first create a new project. Let's call it hit create. All right, so here we are in the, the interface and let's import our footage. Import media. And I've got two clips selected for this purpose. So open, change the frame rate and we have our footage. All right, so let's quickly scrub through it. So you can see long shot and close up. Yes. Okay. So how do you sync these two clips for multicam usage? So I want you to come up to the top of the screen, just below the top menu bar. And I want you to see these four icons. Yes. We're looking for the third icon. So we want to select both clips and then we want to select the third icon. What that's going to do is it's going to bring up the sync clips or the sync menu. So you're going to say to me, Miles, what is this interface that we are looking at? Well, on the left, top left, we're looking at the sync view and the number of cameras that we have available, i.e. the number of clips that have been that have been imported. On the right, we see the multi-cam view itself. So if we want camera two here, we can change to camera two. Great. We only have two cameras or two clips that, that are multi-cam synced. So if we had more than that, we would see more, more cameras here. But we only have two, so therefore, let's progress. So the next line down from that is, uh, how do we sync? Four methods to sync by. The first is time code. If you set up your cameras to sync by time code. Or by audio, which we're going to use or by in points or by out points. The only thing that we're going to care about right now is the using the audio waveform. So let's select that. So you're gonna look at the bottom of that screen and go, what's, 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 what are we looking at here? The bottom of the screen talks about camera number one and camera number two. All right, so we don't necessarily care about those. So now that we've selected our, our, audio, our audio sync method, we wanna hit the sync button, ding, and it will automatically sync. So let's find out whether or not it's actually done this. So, yes, let's find out. Mark, take two. And it looks Turn like it variation. is synced. Yay. Yes, back, side, forward, cross. Yes. All right, it looks like it's synced. Now we want to come to the end of the, the bottom of the screen where it says cancel and save sync and hit save sync. Ding, all done. All right, now I want you to come back to the top of the screen under the where it says, where, where it says master. And just below that, I want you to look at the clip itself to the upper left-hand corner of it and you'll see what looks like a little blue triangle in the corner. That tells you that it has been synced and that's important. So now I wanna grab my master clip, which is this guy, which I'm using, I'm going to use my audio from. I don't want the audio from this guy. I want the audio from this guy. So I'm gonna grab, grab that and drop it onto the timeline. So once it's grabbed and Mark dropped, two. what I'm going to do is scrub a little bit so that I can get rid of right there. And I wanna, I wanna clip that and grab that and delete it. All right. Turn variations. Um, I want to show you a couple of ideas. All right. So now you're going to say to me, Miles, how do we use our multicam clip? Well, I want to show it to you. So let's uh, let's assume for the moment that I'm scrubbing along and I want to and I want to grab the close up of her feet in this turn, right here. How would I do that? Well, I come up here to the top of my screen and select sync. And what's happened is all along, as I've been scrubbing along, the sync function has been keeping track of where I am in the, in the clip. So now if I want my secondary clip, that guy, and what it's done is it's selected a five second clip. So. If I want just that clip, what I want to do is I want to come to the middle icon bar just above the timeline, and I want to select this icon right here. 
What it's done is it's dropped a five second clip onto the timeline. And it's this, back, side, forward. Yes? Excellent, okay. There's just one little tiny problem with that. You'll notice that there's a slight echo and that's because this track is playing its audio. Now I could just turn off the audio. However, that's not what we wanna do. So let's, let's undo what we just did and come back to the sync panel Select, our, tech, select our, our, our camera view. Now what we want to do is come to the far left of the screen and select the, the video tab only. That's that icon right there. And now what it will do when I hit, when I hit this guy, it will drop in just the video and not its audio component. We will still use the, the audio component from our, first, our primary track. So let's see how that plays out to most people and it's this back side forward yes cool beans now if i want to extend this clip i can if i want to trim it i can does not matter and that is how we multicam very quickly thanks a bunch for watching